Hello, hello, this is gonna suck. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay. So this was my first video part ever. It was done by a guy named Chris Mahaffey in Nashville. It's basically just a local Nashville video. There was some parts from, I think from some friends from Atlanta and Chattanooga and kind of like the surrounding areas, but um, it was primarily like a, a Nashville local video. And yeah, shout out to Chris Mahaffey for making that even happen. I think I was like 17, I forget how long we even filmed for it, but like 16, 17, maybe 18. And I would, I don't know, it's probably my least favorite just because, I don't know, a lot of the, like my kits and stuff in it are kind of crazy. Trick selection is kind of crazy, but it's still, I don't know, it is what it is, but I'd probably say it's my least favorite. Oh, man. And the, the no-handers, well, bobble the hand. <laughs> oh, it's funny too. You use skate park clips. <laughs> wow, interesting. <laughs> just I'm probably not gonna have much to say about all this other than just interesting. Wow, Atlanta clips. Old 6th Avenue, that place was the best. What about bike setups? Oh yeah, and bike setups. This was like the time that I was going through like, I would be like pegless one week, and then I'd be brakeless the next. Pegs on, pegs off. Yeah, I don't know, I was just all over the place. I had the three whip in there, dude. <laughs> When was the last time you did the three Dude, uh, eight years ago, probably. Yeah, that's right. Or, uh, oh, yeah. Dude, it's dumbbell. This is crazy. I love the old six avenue for the show. <laughs> the Rasta hat. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It definitely seemed like it was like an emo phase. I was definitely very yeah into like hardcore music. Cause Sixth Avenue used to they put on hardcore shows on the weekends, and so we'd go to the skate park and then sneak into the hardcore sh hardcore shows. But. Yeah, uh, a couple brake clips. Well, the uh, man, I used to have like, yeah, in that clip, I had like a skunk stripe. I dyed my hair black, skunk stripe, I had the bandana on, all over the place. It was stylish for the day, right? I don't know. I, honestly, <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, and <laughs> super emo clip. Like looked all like bummed, and I put my hand in the camera's face. <laughs> Looks like I had about 10 different bikes. This was also the phase I would like paint my bike every other weekend, whatever color. Remember I went through like, I was super into Kevin Porter too at that time and he had like a crazy every color kind of bike. So I remember doing that. Not at all. A lot of Aiken influences in there as well. <laughs> I was very into Aiken for sure. Very amazing. Man, triple X, dude. 
That's my first truck. Yeah, I don't know, like, I don't remember a lot of it, to be honest, but super Indian giver. <sighs> super heavy Indian givers, but at the time, too, that wasn't really, like, a thing. I don't remember it being a thing. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> Not much to say about it. I don't know. It is what it is. It's just old and had some crazy kits in there. Branson! <laughs> Come on, dude. I guess I'd say Chapters is my favorite, or the one I'm most proud of. I feel like has like maybe the most diversity in spots and in the footage and stuff like that so is it one of the parts you felt like you're like oh i'm i'm done and you knew you were done or is it is it does that happen ever, oh I guess? um yeah with that one it was i i like knew when i was done because i ended up like my last clip i flew out to california just to get that one clip because i was like not really happy with whatever I was gonna use for my ender at that time. And there was something that I really wanted to do, it was on that walnut rail. And so I like flew out just specifically to try to get that clip, which is something I've never done before. Yeah, that was whenever I was like, all right, now I know I'm done. Which is kind of a cool feeling, because I'd never had that before with other parts. Like yeah. where you're like, all right, now I know I'm done. Uh, <clears throat> That's funny. Uh, I showed my grandmother this part and she was laughing about the security guard at the beginning. She said he was like Barney Fife. And I was like, that's really funny. <laughs> Grandma gets it. Grandma gets it. <laughs> was, uh, was tires what you wanted to do on that? Tires was what I wanted to do. Um, but I remember like that day we had been like searching around all day and I hadn't found anything. And that was like the only thing. So I was like, all right, I want to at least just jump on it. And I think I had feebled it. I feebled it once and then that's when the security guard came up. So I was like, uh, I'm already warmed up. Gotta at least try it. Fortunately, not a repeat of Japan or prequel. Yeah, right. <laughs> I actually would love to get that photo. I think Fred shot that photo. Okay. That's an epic photo. What about uh, song choice stuff? I know I know music for the video was, was difficult at that time. Yeah, the music was a little difficult with this part because um, they were using cleared music and everything. Um, so, one, it was hard just to find a song that was going to clear. Um, but then also there was a little bit of back and forth uh, between Manzuri and Pova um, about which songs to use. And I remember like there was a bunch of different options. Um, and it's funny because I initially had suggested this song and then months later, whenever we actually went to go edit the, the part, I was not really too stoked on the song anymore. Um, but Popa and Manzuri said that they, they liked the way it looked once the footage was put to the song. So I was kind of like, well, it is what it is. yeah, I mean, I feel like for the, for the filmer or the editor, uh, I want them to be really stoked on whatever song it is. Cause they're the, going to be the ones to be like watching it over and over yeah. while they're editing it. So. And it's kind of like that's their creative process as well, so it's kind of a give and take with that. And there was a bunch of filmers, correct? Or was it just...? Uh, there wasn't really a whole bunch of filmers. I, mean, I think it was just Will. So it was Will Stroud and then Mike Manzuri 
Um, a few of the clips were Christian, because um, actually a few of them were filmed for, uh, for my part that me and him were putting out uh, pretty soon. Um, so those ended up just getting given to Edney's because I wanted to get this part done. This line was a bitch. Didn't forever. <laughs> I remember I haven't tried to crank arm that thing and I was like, it took me like 10 tries. I was like, dude, there's like so many kids out there that could do this first try. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> there was, oh, there were some homie clips too. Like I think my friend Pat filmed this. Or no, Corey filmed that one. It was a, just a random trip that we did. How, many, how long is this? Uh, it's a long The section? Yeah. Uh, I think it's like eight minutes or something like that. Um, man, there were some good times though filming for this. We did a lot of trips. When when you see clips, do you <clears throat> do you see the struggle or do you see like kind of the surrounding memories? Uh, I don't see the struggle that much. I see just the, like the surrounding memories, I guess. You know, like. A little bit of what happened each day on on the clips, but um, ah, I mean, I guess some of them. It's funny because I look back on a lot of clips and I'm like, man, I feel like I just didn't know what I was doing that day, and that was just like just trying to get something. <laughs> I don't know. Are we all? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was never really a plan going out, you know. Of course, I guess that's kind of how I'd, I don't like to go out with an intention of like, all right, I'm going to do this this today or whatever, because I feel like it puts too much pressure on it. I like to just kind of randomly come across them. like the Atlanta footage. Those are good trips. Uh, no. I feel like the long hair kind of ran its course. It was just starting to get all matted and I couldn't ever keep it not matted. No, it wasn't too bad, because you could just like put a skateboard down, that fence was exactly like a skateboard height. So you could just put the skateboard down and nollie over the skateboard a bunch of times and then, you know, just make sure. Through. What's that? <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, if you can nollie over a skateboard, you can nollie onto almost it, you know, whatever. Which I feel like is not really that high. Nope, not for me. What were we talking about? Oh, well, it's funny because I always thought like, man, someone could tire this thing, but that would just be so ridiculous. And then we went there with Hobie and Hobie tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, he's a savage. I feel like Garrett could do some sort of like barter grind on it. Someone could definitely do like a board ice on that thing. Didn't someone um, crank on crank on 180? Was it Ethan Courier? I can see that. This was kind of an interesting clip because I had to like make a wooden platform because it dropped down like mm. I don't know maybe three or four inches like right before it. So I had to make this wooden platform and. Talking about like not wanting to plan out clips, that was one that I was like, definitely had to plan out a little bit. I'm always curious about like the, uh, like the, the big three clips, because I feel like they are so um, more about your mood than the spot. 
you know? Big three clips? Yeah, like I feel like you could just like send a big three. Yeah, if it you, is. <laughs> that's very true, yeah. Like, oh, I mean, like, yeah, I just want to do a big three today, but like you don't like... Because it's not a hard trick. And it's not it's, set, there's not like a super difficult setup. Like, of course, there's ones that are cooler than others. Right, like, yeah, yeah. It's kind of more, yeah, if you just feel a bit Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, that is very true, though. That was a random one, too. We were just, like, riding around in Nashville. Uh, Dakota was in town and uh, <clears throat> ended up just rolling by the rail. And I was like, oh, we'll just give it, like, a couple tries. And then we were getting kicked out. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to flip over or something like just really give it and it somehow worked i was very very shocked because i do not do any sort of nose manuals what is uh what does your grandma say about the crash flips uh they're pretty used to it by now um obviously they don't like them they go <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're pretty used to it by now though I know, dude. <laughs> Brands is over here sleeping. That one was pretty scary for me. I remember running into like trees and stuff a couple times on it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. One and done, obviously. No, that was, uh, fuck. I kind of forget what happened on the first one because like, I feel like I just got in this like blackout mode, but um, I definitely didn't do it first try. I think I, <clears throat> the first one I just like touched pegs and like fell off onto the stairs or something like super sketchy. So I had to do it twice. What's blackout mode? I don't know. Well, like, <laughs> uh, just where you, I guess you stop thinking <laughs> a little <laughs> bit. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Kind of shut your brain off for a minute. And then that was a clip that I flew in for or whatever. Yeah. So I was pretty, pretty stoked to like know that I was done with the part. I always, I always laugh when the photographer is not celebrating so just looking at the back Because <laughs> yeah. isn't that a thing for photographers? Like, yeah. Especially just like in general, if you like take the photo and then like look at it instantly. Because it's the stress of knowing, make sure you got it. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's like, yeah, you're not in the moment anymore. Yeah. So. Connors. I've, I've been there too. Don't, no offense to Connors. Oh, no, I know. Everybody yeah, does. everyone does it. Yeah. Um, so that was most favorite. Yeah. Yeah. You got some, yeah. Close, some close seconds. It's kind of a hard choice, huh? I, I don't know. Honestly, I just don't I don't think about it that much. So when you asked me to do this, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really think about it, honestly, that much. But I guess just off the top of my head, like, that would be my favorite. But I don't know. I feel like I'm proud of certain aspects of all of them, you know, but they're video parts. I don't know. <laughs> what about, uh, this is where you plug, this is where you plug, why not? Do your, uh, YouTube, do your YouTube outro, dude. So, yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'm going to have another part coming out soon. It's called Why Not. Um, it will be coming out in five days from now. So... Watch it if you want to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. I'll put the link in the description. You put the link in, yeah. Click the link in the description if you want to watch it. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> or thanks to it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not better at this. No, it's fine. I don't. Not everybody uh, has to be ultra feeling themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>